Hey Star Wars fans, so it's been a while since I've talked about any sort of figurine and these are two small ones from uh, Pocket Pop. I have a Funko Pop, you know, it's a, I'll bring it out later for comparison, but these are like keychains. These will be my first. Uh, I really like Darth Vader. I prefer Boba Fett, but uh, I don't know if they made a Boba Fett in this keychain format or if they did, it's old and it's probably expensive. But I got these two off of uh, AliExpress, you know, the brand new. So, anyways, let's see. I've never seen this packaging. Mm, yep, Funko. I didn't know they're from Washington. Interesting. Disney product, of course. All right. Well, let's open this guy up. All right. So it actually has quite a bit of protection for a keychain, and then uh, it seems. Quite functional. I mean, this is a seriously heavy-duty ring. This is this is really thick and strong steel. So, if you just want a really strong, you know, ring, you might want to buy this thing. I, I don't know if I've ever seen one this thick before. Anyways, so naturally, that's quite strong. Now, I'm not gonna sit there and you know, with the Darth Vader on my keychain. So I'm just gonna unscrew this thing from the top of the guy, just like this. Yeah, I mean, sure, he'll have a little hole in his head, but uh, it's better than displaying him with a big steel ring hanging out of his head, right? So there's the size of that. It's only like two, three millimeters. Uh, unlike Funko Pops, this head doesn't move. It's I'm not even sure if it spins. It might be totally static. It doesn't seem like it wants to spin either. So it's just a totally static toy. Hmm. I would have guessed that Funko Pops being bubble heads, that this head would have moved. But apparently not. The way this is constructed, this helmet seems to be a separate piece. And then the body's a whole separate piece. Pretty decent detail for something that's so small. There's a little bit of some green dots there on the control boxes. <laughs> really short lightsaber, of course. This this cape also is a separate piece. So, all right. Let's put Darth here. Darth has like some purpley eyes here as well, which I guess is good. Although they should have a shade of red. Darth really has some really dark red lenses. Okay, so Mandalorian here. Are these numbered? You would think that these are collectible. They would number them in a series, but I don't see anything about a number. Hmm. Strange. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. Same, uh, massive key ring here. Oh, and this I didn't even notice. There's a quick release here. So, if you want to just maybe hang it off of a, uh, backpack or something like that, you could. But, uh, as I mentioned, I'm not going to use this as intended. These are just kind of sitting in a display box next to my other figurines. Maybe they'll do some cameos when I pull out some of my cartooned vehicles. It's a pretty long thread. Well, pretty long screw. Okay, that's a joke right there. Alright, so we got some silver paint for this guy's helmet, some black here, it's tampo printed, it's a little miss, a bit missing the mark and not enough black paint there. Uh, side details are alright. The helmet again is a separate piece from the bottom of it at least. And then the body is one piece. And the cape I think is another separate piece, a little bit flexible. And there's also a glued on gun. Yeah, Mando's gun there. So basic uh, colors, kind of like the photograph there. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the Mando there. Not bad. It's a little extra flash here though. But uh, these weren't really expensive, so I mean you can't expect the world from something that's less than two inch. Looks like it's two inches tall. So let me get rid of this packaging. I guess we should compare to some. Uh, other figurines. The problem is I don't think these are going to stand. Yeah, the feet are so small and the head is so heavy. Maybe, hold on. Maybe
Maybe if I have them stand against each other back to back. Nope. Darth is really back heavy. Mando might actually be front heavy. Hmm. So I'm going to have to probably sticky tack these guys to some clear chips. So I'm going to have to come back. So I just cut out uh, some plastic packaging and uh, used some poster poster putty to mount them to that so it's not permanent. And let us compare to some other, you know, things. So I have these, uh, I think these are Bandai Gashapons. They literally come inside the helmet. The body comes inside, then the stand comes inside the helmet. And then you just assemble them. So this is Boba Fett and Darth Vader. I don't think they made a Mandalorian. But as I mentioned, I prefer Boba Fett anyways. Because that's what I grew up with, the original trilogy. Alright, uh... Not much room here, so we're going to remove that and show what a regular Funko Pop looks like. So you'll see it's a bobblehead. And it's quite massive. So yeah, I just kind of assumed these would be bobbleheads, or at least, you know, loose bodies. See, being that was a keychain dongle. But apparently not. Alright, so... And then, yeah, just let me pull out one of these cartoonish cars just to see how they scale with the Choro Q. Unfortunately, they are much too large to fit next to a Choro Q. So they probably won't be shown too much more after this video. That is unfortunate. Oh well. Okay, well, I'm still pretty happy I got them. They weren't really expensive. I like super deformed things now, whether they're cars or characters. And I love Star Wars, so no problemos for me. Alright, I hope you guys liked this video. And uh, maybe later I'll get some other figurine show-offs. Not even a review, just to show them off, I guess. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.